Thank you for joining me, TikTok. I want to talk about these visions that I had about America and this and our economic collapse. And I'm going to make it short. I'm just going to wrap them up in one vision and what message that God is trying to, um, not trying to, what God is saying to me so I can convey to you. So i seen in these visions, America, basically, economy was at a standstill. And I have made videos about this before, but I seen where there were multiple families inside a, a single unit, a family home, like a one story home, um, single family unit. And I seen like five or six families living in these homes. And I could see people who live in the city. I could see them have suitcases trying to get to where they need to go um, because people were basically poor um we were all poor there was no money and i can just remember feeling and seeing um desolation even though there were people there even though that there was a, a, a scenery i can remember feeling and this vision of feeling of despair um just feeling hopeless like i was sad because this our country had it, it it fell um and in these visions and god just keep on showing me these visions about what is to happen to us um our finances it is truly it is truly truly sad and i keep on seeing fireworks and i remember some of my visions I had, like, I seen fireworks. I'm like, why am I seeing fireworks? And I was downtown inside a big city. And the people with the suitcases, I remember just seeing fireworks emit in the sky. And, like, our economy has fell. We're just, we're just in a bad spot. And everyone's sad. But I can see these fireworks just omit and radiate the sky. I just keep on seeing these fireworks. And um, my visions that I had, like recently in the past, I keep on seeing fireworks. And I'm just like, okay, fireworks are going off. Like, this is a really sad time. So, um, I don't know who was lighting the fireworks. I don't know those details. I can just remember seeing this in my vision. Um, just fireworks around this time and how it was sad. But it was also like a, a type of celebration for who i don't know was a sim but yeah i just seen fireworks and we know of the immigration crisis that we're currently having and that should that alone should let people know that our nation is falling um and we know that immigrants have came to this country be which we understand the Statue of Liberty. We welcome them, things like that. I get the history of America. But this is different. This is different because they're just not um, immigrants looking for um, comfort and a place to stay. These are those who are going to invade us from the inside out. You can read this in Isaiah chapter 13. So these are soldiers. Um, they come from all over and um you know to make war with us because america is babylon and this is what they're going to do to us and i keep on having these visions you guys i keep on sitting and god is keep on showing to me about our economy is going to fall and you know some people they may be stocking up some people may not stock up do what god according to his word what he tell you to do um, that's the only thing I can tell you on that part, um, just about by his will. And, you know, I'm really sad just thinking about the visions because it's the pain, the pain that I felt. And I could see the sorrow and the broken and the brokenness of each American because they couldn't believe that I could believe that this was happening to America because I know God and I study and I read. But there are those who can believe that this is happening to us. And a lot of these people, they put their faith and their trust inside the government. And the government 
failed them and they were just at disbelief because they actually believed that these two parties actually cared about them um, but they are and they will at the end times they will when the um, economy collapsed they will hide out in their caves um, they have them you know in, in the sea below the sea level they have them in the mountains I have seen exactly um, God has shown me where they're hiding out um, and I can see them even as I talk I can see them I, I can see their whole compounds right but um, they're trying to hide from God in the last days which is whatever which is pathetic right because God is all he's God right so um, the government basically abandoned us during this time because they were like oh my goodness it's actually happening and we know this was, this was gonna happen and and basically we were we were on our own um, we had to rely on one another during these times and um, we had to get along with one another and that will be a civil unrest but I don't want to talk about that part because that part is very violent of the dramatic things that I seen it was very sad um, the violence the amount of violence I seen but you know these visions that they keep on happening and they're just coming you know back to back back to back back to back and it was so much crime it was so much crime and the the cities in the inner city the cities the major cities they they stood no chance they they they, they didn't <laughs> the cities it was like all out guerrilla warfare it was pretty bad in the cities so i just remember seeing how the violence in the cities during this time because people are panicking you understand people they're not working they have you know lost their job they lost their 401ks they lost everything they, they I don't know they they everyone has has will lose so much during this economic collapse and the reason that I talk about these visions and say these things because this is what God desires for me to say to people what is about to happen um, I don't know is is going to be a very sad time in America when people really wake up and see what is happening it's going to be too late because it's, it's going to be all said and done our nation is currently falling and it's like we're still divided we're still not repenting right um, this is our judgment anyway so you know God gave us a chance to repent so this is our judgment so I just want to talk about that what I seen so you guys stay prayed up stay focused have a relationship with God the end is now it is we're living in the last days and it's going to get harder in America um, we won't be able to afford anything and this is this is the road that we're on um i hate to be the bearer of bad news but this is our reality and our borders have completely fallen so that should be the first that that should be something that click in your head regardless of your belief that a country and a nation is falling so a lot is going to happen. So we're living in the end. And thank you for listening and tuning in. And God bless.